Dryer Master, computerized grain drying control. As an operator, you know that your dryer dries faster or slower depending upon drying conditions. Outside air temperature, wind speed, and direction, humidity, time of day, the variety of the grain being dried, and of course the moisture of the grain, can all affect dryer operation. To control the moisture of the grain they are drying, most operators take regular moisture samples from the grain leaving the dryer. This may happen every 15 minutes, every half hour, or hourly, or perhaps only a few times a day. Based on the results of the moisture sample, the operator decides whether or not to make adjustments to the dryer discharge rate or metering roll speed. The operator may even wait for a second moisture sample to confirm a trend before making a change. If the grain is too wet, the operator reduces the discharge rate or, if the grain is too dry, the operator increases the discharge rate. The dryer master also adjusts the discharge rate to control the grain moisture, but it gets its information in a different way. The dryer master uses online moisture and temperature sensors located at the inlet and the outlet of the dryer, as well as the drying air temperature. Several times a second, these sensors provide moisture and temperature readings to a computer located in the dryer master control panel. The computer uses this information to build a model of how your dryer is operating. Then, as inlet moistures and drying conditions change throughout the day, the dryer master continuously calculates and automatically adjusts to the best discharge rate for the current situation. The dryer master then has two important advantages. First, it continually monitors the dryer. Second, it has the benefit of continuous moisture information from both the inlet and the outlet of the dryer, as well as the drying temperature. This gives it a full picture of all the grain in the dryer, not only of what is coming out of the dryer. With this information, the dryer master does not have to wait to react to changes in the outlet moisture. It is able to adjust the discharge rate as the incoming moisture changes. So, for example, as wetter grain comes into the dryer, the dryer master can begin to slow down the discharge rate just as the wetter grain reaches the hot zone. As well, if you increase or decrease the drying temperature, the dryer master will adjust the discharge rate to accommodate. Now that we've looked at how the dryer master works in general terms, let's take a closer look at the components of your dryer master 510. A moisture and temperature sensor is placed at the inlet to the dryer just above the hot zone, in an area where it will remain fully covered by flowing grain. A second moisture and temperature sensor is placed after the outlet of the dryer, where it can measure a representative sample of the grain leaving the dryer. Next to the outlet moisture sensor is a sampling button. This is used for calibrating the outlet moisture sensor. An air temperature sensor is placed in the dryer to measure the drying air temperature. The moisture sensors, sampling button and air temperature sensor are all wired to the Dryer Master 510 panel which becomes the new workstation for the operator to monitor and control the dryer. The operator can view online information on the Dryer Master screen and use the panel to adjust settings such as alarm limits and moisture targets. Critical dryer function, such as starting and stopping as well as setting the drying temperature and any drying safety and interlocks are still handled by the dryer control system as before.